टेन पजेस प्रॉपर्टी इन गुजरात और यूपी और राजस्थान दीज आर ऑल ब्रीचेज ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल सिस्टम द रेप्स दैट आर गोइंग ऑन ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड नो बडी इज इंटरेस्टेड इन द इंडियन मीडिया से सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल कास्ट द वोट्स इफ हंड्रेड परसेंट पीपल कास्ट द वोट्स आई वोट बी सरप्राइज बिकॉज द अथॉरिटीज विदाउट फॉरन ऑब्जर्वर्स एंड विद ऑल द लीडर्स इन जेल दे कैन प्रोड्यूस अ रिजल्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट वोटिंग बट द इंडियन मीडिया इट रिपोर्ट दैट देर सेवेंटी परसेंट वोटिंग there is this there is that that is a complete breach of the law of the constitution of our fundamental rights and last time in 2000 when bill clinton the president of india visited kashmir uh, india 43 six were massacred by the indian army in village cities in pura and later those same army officers trying to show that they have caught all the people who massacred the sikhs committed the foul murders of kashmiri muslims in patribal now if the patribal murders have come to light why haven the murders of city sentpura come to light now the constitution says that this is a secular country but the governor mr vora and earlier general sena they were chairman of the vishnu devi temple trust <coughs> how can a government kamarnath sena board a public <coughs> man hold the religious of office the chairman of vishnu devi and guide propagate amarnath yatras now i fail to understand how the governor is in charge of the amarnath yatra when this is a secular country but nobody is going to challenge the governor and the lord chiefs have put masks on their faces and their eyes they neither hear they neither see and they neither speak <coughs> so this is a very very difficult situation in kashmir and there were floods but nobody tells us what caused the floods how did the floods occur and what is the distribution system when you clamp the leaders of kashmir in prison how can the relief be <coughs> distributed fairly and transparently there are no foreign observers and last year there was the same calamity in uttarakhand where foreign aid was allowed but in kashmir foreign aid for the victims of the floods has not been allowed now where is the rational why foreign aid has been stopped in kashmir and allowed in a calamity in uttarakhand now this is discrimination it violates article 14 straight away so these are the things that uh, concern us six that is why we are here to share your views to talk to you to challenge you to bring you out of your jackets your robes and fight for the principles of natural justice the rule of law and for habeas corpus nobody knows how many prisoners are there in jails kashmiris or sikhs in punjab or elsewhere 
they've been there for the last 20 years. These are the things that uh, concern us as six, as human beings. That is why we are here. And we come here every year to look at things, to see for ourselves the mis misery, the desperation of the people who are not allowed to exercise their lawful constitutional and legal rights. That is why we are here. We bought about 96 tons of relief material of which we have constituted a committee of 11 members, handed over all the relief to them. We have handed over some to the Mirbai Saab, to Gulani Saab and the other people who are engaged in this relief work. But we don't understand how these floods could occur if there was proper dredging of the river, if there was proper planning, and the depredations of the forests were not allowed to take place, the environment was not allowed to be disturbed, <coughs> and the policies of Israel were not allowed to be implemented to create colonies for a certain section of the people. Now, if the six can live peacefully over here, I don't see why the pundits can't live peacefully and why Israel has to be invited to create colonies for them on the pattern of Palestine where Jewish settlements have been enforced on the people of that Arab land. So these are the very perplexing uh, questions that uh, we've come to raise and share with the honorable members of the bar because you're the leaders of the public opinion. And since we stand for liberty, justice, freedoms, we are here. And we thank you, sir. We thank you, sir, for giving us the opportunity to, to speak out to you and tell you and assure you that the six will always be there for liberty and freedom and in the fight of, for injustice and for the fight for liberty. Thank you.